Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be answering a particular request made by one of us. So basically, the person left a comment on my video talking about Ankara beading or Ankara embellishment for Ankara outfits. For those that are wondering, what does she mean by Ankara? Ankara is basically the local name out here in Nigeria for African print fabric. I have a sample of an African print fabric right here. This is a kente fabric that I got recently from Ghana and I'm yet to sew it. So it's this particular pattern is common among Ghanaians, okay? I don't know if it's a particular tribe in Ghana, but once you see this pattern of African prints, you definitely know that it's most, it most likely has something to do with a Ghanaian, right? So yeah, this is a sample of an Ankara fabric and they come in different prints, okay? If you come to Nigeria, especially if you are foreign to, or come to Africa in general, African countries, we and African print fabric, we are like this. The love is tight, okay? It's a very popular fabric out here. I know outside the country in America, Europe, Asia, and the rest, it might not necessarily be so popular over there, but out here in Africa, African print fabric, very, very popular out here. So this person was basically asking me to talk about Ankara fabric embellishment and beading. I know, I talk about beading a lot. A huge percentage of my videos are about beading and all of that. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing more of an analysis for us. I have a couple of videos saved on my device right here with me. And I'm also going to be just talking through how you can incorporate some of the ideas from these videos into your work, okay? If you have an African print outfit and you're thinking, oh my gosh, this dress looks too boring. I need to spice it up and add some form of beading to it. This video is for you. I'm going to be sharing ideas on how you can accessorize some of these outfits and make something incredibly stunning for yourself or for your clients. If you'll be interested in knowing all the ideas I have for us in today's video, please, as usual, make sure you watch the video all the way through. Do not skip any parts so you don't ask questions that have already been answered. Also, please remember to hit the like button. It helps me greatly and I'd really, really appreciate that help from you guys. And subscribe if you're yet to subscribe. Feel free to share this video with a friend and don't be afraid to leave your comments down in the comment section. All right, guys, let's get started. All right, guys, so like I said earlier, I'm going to be looking at my phone right here. I have some of these ideas on how to embellish African print outfits on my phone, and I'm just going to put them as a sidebar on the screen for us, either here or here, and you guys will just get to see what I'm looking at on my phone. So the first way in which you can accessorize your Ankara fabric is to incorporate lace, and a popular type of lace that is pretty, is becoming very very common these days is i think it's called i forgot it chantilly lace please correct me if i'm wrong if i pronounced it wrongly but i think it's called chantilly lace it's pretty popular here and this outfit right here on ari uk dimples we can see the lace going on on the sleeve area of the dress and some part of the bust and shoulder area and you see how lovely it looks it also we can also see some applique detailing along the waist and all of that so this is another way you can this is a this is a way right it's not another way this is a way in which you can accessorize your ankara outfit you've made the ankara outfit it looks stunning but you feel like something is missing buy a little bit of this lace this chantilly lace or any other type of lace that you think is befitting or matching with the fabric that you have with you and then incorporate it you see how this particular i don't know who designed this dress by the way i would have linked the person if i did but you see how the designer basically just added chantilly lace and some applique detailing on the outfit and the end result like we can see looks incredibly stunning i keep looking at my camera because this camera it can be very funny so it doesn't disappoint i also have this other outfit as well you see how this lady looks incredibly stunning with the scarf and the um i don't know armless dress you see the applique detailing on the outfit so this is don't feel boxed in like it has to be beads if you have applique panels panels are something that are very in vogue now like it's crazy like it's so crazy how panels have become so in vogue and those panels are not cheap guys the only reason why i've not brought a panel embellishment tutorial to the channel is because that thing is not cheap applique trims to bow is a popular person out here in portacot that sells panels and some of those panels when i see the price that she calls those things i better go <laughs> i'm not started making money up to that level to be able to afford it just yet so panel if you if you have a you know a certain type of clients clientele with your business incorporate 
panels into their Ankara outfits and make something gorgeous, something similar to what we have here. We can see that this particular designer, there's a corset going on here. You also have the applique detailing or is it panel? I don't know if it's a panel and they separated it into little pieces like this, but the point is that this looks incredibly stunning. Another way in which you can accessorize your African print fabric, of course, is by beading. And we can see this beading. This beading is detailed, guys. That upper part that is half blue, half lemon is beading. And I, can, I think this is, they used rice beads here. So see how tightly packed the beading is. So this beading, as little and simple as it looks, this is days and hours of work of bidding okay so when this particular person if the bidder charges a certain amount you know it's worth it because it's not the kind of back pain that comes with bidding for those that are into bidding you know what i'm talking about the body ache the arm ache back ache so many aches that comes with bidding is what the amount of money that people get charged for bidding so this outfit you see how this person incorporated bidding into this ankara outfit or african print fabric for my non-africans that are watching me you see how this was incorporated beautifully and the end result looks stunning another way of course is also attaching lace and we can also see this outfit on i think her name is poed or poede I don't, please i'm so sorry poed awujo that's what i know her as i don't know if her name has changed but i know her as poed awujo right here we can see the upper part the bust and shoulder area of this outfit we have some lace going on on the outfit and over the sleeve as well you see how the lace was incorporated and this just looks simple and delicious right she looks incredibly stunning this is another way in which you can incorporate embellishments also we have ronke fella right here wearing this iro and buba or iro and buba is the name guys for my non-africans iro and buba is like blouse and wrapper it's a popular form of outfit out here in nigeria common among the yoruba people but now we've seen how different tribes rock iro and buba outfits so this outfit right here the, the form of embellishment that was used for this outfit is rhinestones so we see how rhinestones were placed strategically on some of the patterns on the african prints so that's another way another tip as opposed to doing these rhinestones on these patterns on this particular fabric if you have a fabric okay let me use this my kente fabric as an example if you have if you've sewn it and you are seeing some portions here you can decide that okay on all these purple portions of the kente fabric i'm going to do some beading using purple sand beads or purple seed beads or purple broken glass beads do it on it strategically all over you'll see that the end result will make something beautiful for you i can't come here now and tell you this is how to bead ankara fabric your own ankara fabric and i come with a fabric that has bold prints and maybe your own ankara fabric has little prints it might not necessarily give what it's supposed to give, right? Because you're not using the same exact patterns of African print fabric. So as a designer, you need to be able to sit down and imagine your creativity. You need to let it be on overdrive, right? Let your creativity come alive and think of ways, look at your fabric, be able to analyze, oh, this, I can see some little, little dots here. What if I start to bid on these little dots to create something beautiful? And that's the essence of the bidding pattern tutorials that I come on here with from time to time. Watch those bidding pattern videos. Don't just watch them for fun. Pick out tips and tricks. I try my best to bid on different types of fabrics for you guys just to see how you can go about it. And I explain extensively. Some people in the comment section said they've almost come to drag me that I do too much when it comes to talking. But I just like I'm very passionate about what I do. And I like to pour myself and talk, talk, talk while filming those videos for you guys. So it's just a handful of people though. And those people are just haters, right? We are not talking about them today. So watch those bidding pattern videos basically and incorporate them into your situational um, situations the situations you find yourself in your business and in the designs you're trying to create right so if i tell you okay i'm going to teach you how to bid kente fabric because kente is an african print fabric what if you don't have kente fabric with you you need to be able to pick borrow ideas from the things that you've watched on this channel and incorporate them into what you have anyway moving along rhinestones that's a perfect way to incorporate you know embellishment into your african print another person that I respect so much when it comes to working with African print fabric. Like she does, she eats and leaves no crumbs. Is Becca Needles and Stitches. If you're not following her, guys, and you are trying to build your skill as a beader, as a fashion designer, leave this video. Yes, I said it. Leave this video. Go to Instagram. Go and follow Becca Needles and Stitches. This, this is not paid. I don't know what she looks like. I've never met her in my life, but I respect her work. She does fantastic, fantastic work when it comes to african print lace 
whatever fabric you see her making, she does something phenomenal. Like, you'll be mind blown when you see the end result of her work, right? So, this dress, this blue and black outfit right here was made by Becca Needles and Stitches. And we see how she ate and left no crumbs when it comes to this outfit. Look at the bead work on the bust area. We see this gang 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 thing. I don't even know what it's called. It's like some kind of interfacing situation going on right there, but... See how detailed she was. She picked the edges of those uh, of this particular outfit, did some crystal beading along that entire area. This slanting thing on the sleeve as well. She did some crystal beading along the area. I can see some dangling chain beading pattern as well on it. Strategically, all over the thing, in the most aesthetically pleasing way. That should be your mantra. How can I take this dress from zero to hundred in the most aesthetically pleasing pleasing way okay make sure that your mind like i said the spirit of creativity ask for it from god and try your best to look at things and look at how you can make it beautiful even if it's beautiful how can i add my touch to it to make it even more beautiful so this right here is another style you can do something incredibly stunning was made out of a regular or two different what i can see here are two different patterns of african prince fabrics but she did justice to it I have another style right here from Becca Needles and Stitches as well. This like rose, rose situation going on on the fabric. It's also an African print fabric. But here, I believe it's rhinestones that were used on the rose situation that we have on the sleeve of this jacket. And you can see some beading drawn along the neckline and the chest area of the outfit. And I believe these are broken, oh no, rice beads in color red. That's what we have going on there. But you see how beautiful it all looks. This is another beading pattern. I believe I've done this beading pattern on the channel. But if you want us to try some of these beading patterns used, especially on these outfits made by Becca Needles and Stitches, if you want us to practice it in a different video, please let me know. And I'll be sure to work something out for us. But look at some of these things and pick tips and tricks from them. I have one more item here. Do I? No. No, that's all. All right, guys. So that's all I have for us in today's video. Those are some of the African prints beading patterns that I have for us in today's video. Another way you can also embellish your African prints fabric is by adding 3D appliques, okay? 3D appliques were not made specifically for just lace. You can incorporate some of this 3D applique styling into your Ankara fabric. I have at least five 3d applique videos watch some of those videos pick the one that you like incorporate it into your ankara fabric and i'm sure it will look phenomenal and guys of recent some of us i think the new people among us you guys are giving what you're supposed to give you guys are the real energy right i've been getting messages from us saying oh for me check out this thing that i made i made this i watched your video i did this i love the energy thank you guys so much thank you for taking the time not just making and moving on but giving me feedback it warms my heart a lot so please if you ever use my video or any of the things you learn from me to make anything please don't hesitate to connect with me on my other social media platforms i'm active on tiktok and instagram in particular, apart from YouTube, of course, those two platforms are where you will typically find me. So don't be afraid. Feel free to tag me in your posts. Send me your pictures, your videos. I love to see it and connect with you guys in my DMs, okay? It goes down in the DMs. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. It means a lot to me. Thank you for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to give this video a big fat thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, girl, guy, please hit the subscribe button and join us. Don't hesitate to share with your friends. Don't be stingy with knowledge, okay? Share with your friends and family. And yeah, friends, I can't wait to see you in another video very, very soon. Bye.